You have no fear. You are secure. You're cherished. You're known and you're protected. Friends, I'm Ingrid Carlson and this is Kara Tootie and I welcome you today as we keep going through our Sprinkle of Tidings December Daily Devotional. And before we begin with day 11, let's go ahead and start off in some prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for every person that is here today and how you've called them. You've handpicked each and every one of them and they are here because you love them so very much and I just pray that if anyone that is here tonight or today that is needing a comfort that you just send it to them that you send them your peace and your love you fill them with the Holy Spirit where nothing else no anxiety no fear no nothing that scares them can even fill them because they are filled with the Holy Spirit Lord, I pray over everyone that is here listening. I pray that your angels just wrap themselves around them and cover them in protection and allow no evil at all to come anywhere near them. Lord, I thank you so much for all of your blessings and all of your promises and for staying with us. I thank you for your son and his gift that he's given us as on the cross, that a gift that is so immeasurable and so unbelievable yet it is so attainable to all of us. Lord, as we get into your word, just open our hearts and our minds. And we just ask this of you today in the sweet, beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. As far as the spread is concerned, I didn't really do much, except I did try to distress everything. I really love this kit. I think it's so pretty and the colors are just just right up my alley. Now, one thing I do want to say is that if you noticed, I put the bow paper upside down. I don't know what I was thinking or why I didn't see it, but um, I left it that, well, obviously I left it that way because I'd already glued it on until before I actually realized that it was upside down, but they are cute nonetheless, and you can actually barely see the bows. So, but I thought it will be endearing. The other thing that I wanted to make sure and do, I wanted this to look like it's like tickets in a map so I wanted it to look like a journey and I wanted the all of the elements to they already have some weathering naturally and I wanted to weather them even further and my nutcracker actually kind of looks like a train conductor do you agree So um, that's pretty much it. I layered everything on the bottom. I did a little different today where I folded a piece of grid paper and I added it there so that I can journal on it. And I have some words that are affirmations, let's say, that I wanted to remember. And it says, no fear, secure, cherished, known, protected, I am. So I just said that like Yoda. (laughs) Anyways, today's verse is going to be 2 Corinthians 5.17. And it reads, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's so awesome, isn't it? This verse is telling us that... Anyone who has put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior who came and bore his life on that cross for us and took on all of our sins, that person becomes a new person spiritually. And it's not about self-effort, but a rebirth that is brought to us by God himself through the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit. The person that we were before Christ, that person that was chained in sin and darkness and separation from God has now died. And as Ephesians 4 24 tells us, and to be put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. 
So today, friends, whether this is a new prayer that you have prayed to accept Jesus into your heart, or if he has been in your heart, you can affirm that you are a new creation in Christ. You have the power to live free from sin's chains. Your old ways of harm are cleansed by the blood of Jesus and his spirit's renewal. You are unafraid of past failures, and God declares you blameless in Christ. So then go and rejoice in who God has made you to be with your heart changed by his love. As you go out in the world today, I pray that you show his unchanging and unwavering love to the world around you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you again for being here and being a part of this little devotional and for being here with this video. I hope that it inspires you in some way. And if you can, make sure that you hit the little thumbs up so that YouTube spreads the video with others that need to hear this message today. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.